Alright you guys, I'm gonna go, Muffins is already asleep over there, so I'm gonna go join her. And uh, we're gonna have a wild cat s*** night. Are you ready Muffins? Oh. Are you ready Muffins? That was me when I was in eighth grade. Oh my god. <laughs> he does this every time. No, my dog's a really never... needy guy. <laughs> the things I've done to my poor animals, they will never love me. Mm. The terrible things. I used to. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. Did you get arrested for this? I don't. I don't know. No. Think about it. Mm. I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I didn't penetrate. <laughs> I laid the cat down on her back I didn't and then penetrate. I, I, I Whoa. moved her little chicken legs, like you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just like hump. But like on her tummy, like that's not weird. Like whatever. And then I humped and I humped and I humped and it kept going, kept going like all over the cat. No, you did not. It was like my first sexual experience. No I was also way. like nineteen. <laughs> so it's like you know. wait a minute. Wait a second. Did you just say you came on my cat? <laughs> Guys, I think I have to put money in the meter. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but you know who likes cats? I never did anything like that. Well, I never did anything crazy like that. Maybe that's dog. why you don't like pussy anymore. I didn't f my cat. I didn't f on my cat. I didn't put my f anywhere near my cat. I've never done anything weird with my cats. I promised myself I wasn't going to make apology videos after last year's thing so just trying to be short and honest with this as possible. I've apologized many times for all the dumb sh** I've said in videos and podcasts over the years. I learned my lesson about and over again and I'm more confident now in my ability to be entertaining by just being myself and not being so shocking for laughs. That story was fake and was based on a dumb awful sketch idea I had years ago that I never made. Thank God, and when the opportunity came up for a funny moment in the podcast I told it as if it was a real story which was disgusting and very very dumb. My goal with the podcast and with my videos years ago was to tell shocking stories that would make people laugh and scream, OMG no you didn't, and think I was so crazy. It's embarrassing and I fucking hate myself for it. Now that I'm making stuff I love and I'm being myself it feels so much better and I finally feel like I'm putting stuff out into the world that means something. I'm not saying I hate everything I've made over the years. There's so many things I'm so proud of but all of my offensive jokes over the top stories and insensitive jokes are something that still haunt me and something I have to be faced with every day on the internet and it never gets easier. So I'm sorry for what I said about my cat. I'm sorry for what I said about anything or anyone that was offensive. And I'm sorry for being someone who thought being super offensive and shocking all the time was funny. I'm sorry for my past, but I'm really to make it right and I feel like without my past I wouldn't be who I am today and I would NT be able to grow and spend my energy on things that actually mean something. This has been the best two years of my life and it's because I've been able to drop the act and be myself. And I'm sorry for not doing it sooner. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go, Muffins is already asleep over there, so I'm gonna go join her, and uh, we're gonna have a wild cat sex night. Are you ready, Muffins? Oh. <laughs>